Nearly 35 years after he tried to assassinate President Ronald Reagan, John Hinckley is spending an increasing amount of time at his mother's home in southeastern Virginia and less time at St. Elizabeth's Mental Hospital in Washington, where he's been confined for decades. John's a very sweet and considerate person. The majority of people don't want him back here. They, they just don't want to take the chance. A federal judge oversees the release program for Hinckley, who jurors found not guilty by reason of insanity, saying he needed treatment, not a lifetime in confinement. Hearings set for this week could allow him to spend even more time with his mother, who lives in a resort development near Colonial Williamsburg. Someday, he could live there permanently. This is worrisome. I don't think they should fear him because I, I don't think, you know, uh, that, that he's a danger to anyone. Come on, here. Come Sandra on. Kotcherberger okay. worked with Hinckley in the library at Norfolk's Eastern State Hospital, where Hinckley was required to volunteer as a condition of his release. I had no fear. He never did anything out of the way, anything abnormal. He was just always a kind, sweet, gentle soul. He gave me this one. He plays the guitar and paints. Hinckley is on medication to prevent psychosis and combat anxiety. When in Williamsburg, he's required to meet regularly with a psychiatrist and a therapist. He has a driver's license with limited privileges to drive unaccompanied, but he must carry a GPS-enabled cell phone during all unsupervised activities. There hasn't been any issues. Michael Hippel is the chairman of the local board of supervisors. Um, I've got to trust that uh, the doctors who are reviewing his progress and are looking it over, make a sound decision. I sort of sell the area. John Wommeldorf is a local real estate agent. One, maybe two times in, in 11 years, somebody said, well, then maybe we don't want to take a look at that neighborhood. But all the other times, and I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of people that I've taken through there, it, it's been a non-issue. But Hinckley's future in Williamsburg has been an issue for Joe and Carol Mann. The things in his mind that drove him to do what he did, nobody can convince me those things are no longer there. Doctors have testified that his psychosis and major depression have long been in remission, and his attorney argues he's no longer a threat. But prosecutors disagree, saying he has a history of deceptive behavior. Ned Barker, The Associated Press.